And I remember because I was the youngest, I would be organising them and not realising I'm choreographing. Now I can look back and say I'm choreographing. But we were organising to my thing. So yeah, that that is my first my first memory of of dancing. Do this dance together it, and then at like at the end I'd run up to him and like bounce off his legs and then he'd like swing me really high. <laughs> and put me down Aww. again, and then I tumble over. So we had these little routines that we did. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like basically just spin me around like I was a little ragdoll. You were like a good dancer as a child. Get quite a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember I was in that circle giving them the little like, I was always there going, and my mum was like, yeah, keep going. And my mum was like, hey, yes, yes. And the money was just becoming, I was like, really shaking. <laughs> too young to dance with them but I would always copy her moves. It was, I think for me dance was quite escapism because mm. it was very much out of the house it was like something out there of the house is dance for me. This body like you know the practitioners would come and like use me to demonstrate things or you know the length in this arm so you can see the scapula moving so for me dance was a bit like Oh, they accept me. My body type is not awful because I was told you're lanky. From graduating onwards, the battle with my body was like, you're going to do as you're told, you're going to do what I say, you're going to be what you need to be. And it was like the mind dictating. It was a dictatorship. Yeah. And the body rebelling by, you know, pain, injuries, hurt, stiffness, muscle spasms. Oh, this feels good. I'm allowed to do this music. I'm just dancing because I'm dancing and like it doesn't matter what my body looks like, I'm just doing these things and just bringing all those things back together again that got split, it's great but it took a long time to come out of that and knit the things back together and see how I'd been so conditioned and fragmented to hate what I was doing, to hate an intrinsic thing, a natural thing, I don't know how. But I know I need it for my body because if I don't dance my body is because it's completely yeah and I need it almost to survive. Dance made me disconnect from my body and as much as I went to the northern where my peers were black and of colour we were still told our bodies were wrong. And that's what I fight for, that black women or black people or brown people can be innocent and have that naivety and have freedom just to be wondrous in the way that I see other privileged people being able to have and I really fight for that. Advocate for others in a way I wasn't able to advocate for myself, trying to explore and create space. This age I'm still within the dance sector and now that I'm in management head of department and I'm managing dancers, I feel the accountability to make change, to make a safe space for black dancers, male, female and dancers of colour. Just really think about what mental health means and where it is in the body. Where else is it located in the body? Now that I've reclaimed it, from for, for a long time it was all wrapped up in the structures. I had a much healthier relationship to dance. I care about it, I love it. I know it does shit. I know how vital it is. I know that we're not just, bodies aren't just meant to be dragging your brain around this earth. I know we're meant to inhabit our bodies as well as our minds.